Okay guys, we got some stuff going. We had done three races. I just want to know we're going to the right spot. Uh, going this way. Holy mother. Well, it is the right way, but god damn is that a long distance. To be honest, I really hate the Mustang that we have right now. It's ugly. I hate convertibles. I hate yellow. Unless it's on a Lamborghini. And I hate how sleek it is. There is no road there, technically. <laughs> I feel like I just became eight years old and I'm playing one of those stupid monster truck Wii games. I'm not kidding. That looks ugly as hell. <laughs> Mustangs were never supposed to be monster trucks, that's all I could say. Oh, this thing drifts better practically than the car does. Need monster beats. I've got the perfect hip hop jewel for this crowd. I figured it would uh it would have a foot point, but whether the track is designed against it, the tires are designed against it, or the uh It's coded not to. This giant obviously won't handle like a regular Mustang GT. Lucky for you, this is a two-lap race. You got one lap to find your footing and one to feed your opponent some dirt. Yeah, it's gonna take more than two laps, mate. Especially with more vehicles. Oh, we have we do have nitro. Woo! Monster trucks popped up in the late seventies, mostly just for showboating. They only really became a thing in the eighties. Man, that decade truly was something. I'm not trying to hit him, but he's going slower than I am. Oh, now he's going faster than I am, and then he slowed right down. Ow! Thank you, water, for once. Real American monster trucks are used in two types of competitions: freestyle stunt and racing. Given Motorfest's racing DNA, we obviously went for the latter. Don't be afraid to use these bank tramps. Yeah, well, I would, except every time I do, I end up crashing. Ready for takeoff? Yeah. Oh, I... Apparently it doesn't take much to actually get air in that if you don't crash beforehand. Dude, how the hell am I in first? Yeah, so did I. <laughs> this the end? Yep. Might as well get a decent time. 
I can't believe I didn't come in last. I'm not even going to bother redoing that. I'm going to be a sissy. Okay, 6.1. What in a monster truck isn't? That man would drive muscle cars on the moon <coughs> if he could. Oh, fucking hell. That fucked with me. God damn it. Jesus Christ. I was gonna drift the corner, but then the car got in my way, and then I saw a thingy. And it confused the hell out of me. And I'm like, oh. Yeah, of course there's a car there. 644 thousands. Oh my god. Yeah, no, that's, uh, that's a great score. Not that I was trying. Oh yeah. When you spot the wind turbines, it'll mean you have arrived. Wind turbines. Oh yeah, we're going to a swamp. Wind turbines in a swamp, come to think of it. Now your opponents are already there. Go on and join the melee. Yeah, I know. That one looks better than a monster truck did. <laughs> Boy, a long shot. Where am I going? Oh, it's a more open track. Lol. See? You can trust me with that car. Yeah, sorry guys, I grew up watching Dukes of Hazard. Give me a break. And anyone that doesn't understand that reference should probably unfollow the channel. Hey, handles better than the normal one. Oh yeah! Nitro drift. I'll take that. Oh, well, that was anticlimactic, but eh, what the hell. I don't know why it didn't trip my uh, brake the lot first time I pressed it. It's the only reason that was stupid. Yeah, I think that red arrow is a bit misleading on that turn because of where the checkpoint is. Ramp incoming. Make that Mustang jump like the devil is after it. Third and last 
return of that swamp crew. Oh man. That was almost perfect. The problem with this car is that it's oversteering. I've had that problem this whole game, and I don't know if it's the controls or if it's the car. arrow practically cuts off the sign. Son of a bitch. And... Hey, we got dirt on the car! And it still looks good. <laughs> Yeah, I know, when the difficulty is to the point where I'm not having fun anymore, I'll race it. That was a bit stupid, honestly, but... We're in Hawaii! Who cares about California? Micro Drift. The uh, Spec 2 version of this car is the one that I really... is my dream car. 100%. And on that god-awful orange-yellow. Oh my god, that's a horrible paint job. This car handles better than all the Mustangs I've driven so far. Man, I love <laughs> this yeah. Where's my guitar? Yeah, no, it was the other cars. Can't find it, damn it. Bottom line is, with my cars and my songs, you're winning this thing. Period. Oh, this thing purrs too. Where the hell is the track? From San Diego to Palm Springs. It's a beautiful scenic route. I'm getting kind of I hate that. This thing seems to like going wherever its uh, torque is going. Oh yeah. Yeah, this is my shit. It's got some tuning issues, but hey, it'll work for me for this race. Tell me more. You 
used to call them hot rods back in the 50s when greasers just started putting large displacement engines called big blocks in cheaper cars. The techs evolved a great deal since then, but one thing is for sure, the same thrill that drove people to push boundaries back in the day is what's still driving us now. I can't believe- shit. I can't do anything about it when it does that. Straight across the roundabout. Don't bother slowing down. Now, yeah, that worked. It's not me that's doing it; is the problem. Every time I try to come out of a curve, I either don't um, correct the steering and I crash, or I do correct it and the car goes way off the road. After all that and still nine seconds ahead, wow, I'll take it. Wow. Okay, guys, I think I'll do it for episode two, and, uh, having fun now. Turns out it's not me that's doing the stupidity, I don't think. Um, stay, uh, stay with me, because, uh, we got three update videos today. And this video, I need to see if I can pull off a Warzone video, but I doubt it. Um, yeah, we'll see what's going to happen, but regardless, see you in the next video, and uh, adios. Subscribe, it, it, it does help. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what you like in the comments, what needs to be changed, what you didn't like about the video, and leave a like and subscribe if you want to follow for more. There's weekly content at the minimum, and I do try to keep up with my mental health enough that I'm not delayed on making videos, because I do always have something planned.